Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It's Tuesday, October 21st. Feeling phenomenal after a great day of eating yesterday. Right back on track, feeling laser focused, feeling fired up, feeling like it's gonna be a nice, strong day, a nice, strong workout. Look forward to getting you some footage here, uh, back workout, tricep workout, and sharing every aesthetic muscle meal I consume today. Right now, I'm gonna head into the mall and uh, gotta do a little shopping for my wife for our 15th wedding anniversary. First up, I stop off at Starbucks and uh, grab myself a tall red eye and an oat fudge bar and I will catch up with you soon. All right, just getting back from the mall, I ended up scoring really, really big, ran into a bunch of sales. I'm sure Angie's gonna be uh, quite happy with a lot of little things that I got her. And uh, man, it just excited the heck out of me, really um, stirred up a lot of the feelings that uh, Christmas is right around the corner. I love being around the mall at, uh, at Christmas time and just love the atmosphere. I love shopping, love giving. Um, just really looking forward to that holiday season. But for right now, I'm gonna, Grab Chief right down here, and we are gonna go for a walk. Are we gonna go, Chief? Are we gonna go for a walk? I think so. Chief's a little excited. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Are we gonna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? You do wanna go for a walk? Okie dokie, we're gonna get outside. It's a nice, brisk, fall day out there looking forward to it catch up with you soon oh man so a few minutes into our walk i was really wishing that i had uh, brought my winter toque with me uh, my bald head was freezing we had a strong strong north wind blowing in you're gonna see some white caps here coming in from uh, we're right on lake st Clair. Uh, we got detroit michigan right across the water here from us um but i gotta say i mean as cool as it was out there i love this kind of weather and uh, the cool brisk autumn air really felt invigorating it really um, heightened my alertness and uh, just really woke me up and geared me up for a killer workout which I went to directly after this just brought chief home grabbed a quick little snack and uh, hit the gym and we began with some pull-ups this was my final warm-up set just a 10 pound plate uh, around my waist I'd already done some body weight pull-ups and uh, just always as always working on full range of motion get the stretch at the bottom and keeping the shoulders back as I uh, drive my elbows down to my side um, so really been playing cautious uh, with this lately I used to use a lot more weight around my waist uh, but just found my shoulders rounded forward and I was taking the emphasis off of my lats Rick tried something a little different here today. We've been playing around with different grip widths. Um, he lately was feeling pull-ups more. Uh, it was creating a knot in his trap, so he leaned back a little bit more today, and that totally took that um, aggravation out of the picture. So we're always doing little tweaks to feel the movements in the right areas. Um, and every once in a while, I mean, we feel those, that little bit of tension, a little bit of knots in uh, our trigger points in certain areas of our body and just listen to it and make minor little adjustments really happy with the vascularity that's coming along here this is definitely my favorite back exercise as i've said before i really feel it all the way down my lats we got rick pumping it up right here uh, he went a little bit lighter and uh, was really working on form full range of motion here Get that major contraction at the back. Uh, for this exercise, we are performing myo reps, so uh, six to eight reps for the first set, and then two reps for the myo rep sets afterwards. And uh, our back, this, this has been an incredible back workout. Um, we've been definitely feeling it, so the DOMS afterwards, and I find back is a tough muscle to experience, that muscle soreness afterwards. Uh, but it's been it's been excellent. We've been noticing it after every workout for the past two weeks. So pairing up our back with our triceps. Pretty happy with the details I'm seeing coming out here in the tries. Doesn't take much getting a good tricep pump here. So this was a super set with some skull crushers. And we get to see Rick's tricep definition and details here 
as well. Absolutely love it. So post-workout, as always, had full strength shake. And now I'm going to share every meal I ate today. So you're going to see breakfast. And then afterwards is when I had the Starbucks oat fudge bar and tall red eye. All right, time for some breakfast. I've got eight egg whites, one whole egg, half a red pepper, cook that up in a teaspoon of coconut oil and melted 30 grams of cheddar cheese on top. Gonna put a little ketchup on top of this and we will be looking at just under 400 calories. Just grabbing 10 Triscuits, 90 calories. We got some leftovers from last night, the mahi-mahi, some mashed potatoes, and I just fried up a little bit of red pepper. Looking at about 500 calories. <laughs> Shader is having a special treat and there's someone watching him. Ooh, do you see me? I'm in stealth mode. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> Alright, I am, uh, I'm feeling pretty hungry right now, so I'm under 2,000 calories, but, uh, I just feel like I need a little bit more food in me, so I'm gonna grab some Tostito scoops and some salsa. I'll still be in a deficit, just not as much of a deficit as I was hoping for for the day, but uh, it is what it is. I'm just listening to my body. It's not like I'm having any kind of craving. It's just that I, I'm feeling hungry. I'm feeling uh, really hungry, and I know that's all part of dieting down but uh, and cutting, but uh, I still, I don't want to, I don't want to be starving. I don't want to be uncomfortable throughout this whole process. Slow and steady is going to be just fine for me.